Hi. When we are discussing about uh, Jira, so we need to discuss about even about uh, the deployment of the work. What usually we do. So in reference to the Jira, because Jira is an agile project management and bug tracking tool, which is widely used across industries for uh, managing the teams, all that stuff. In connect to that, today we are going to discuss about uh, the kind of deployments. What normally we use in uh, Jira wherein to deploy any kind of uh, project as well as the requirements which customer uh, for the benefit of the customer what is that we have prepared so wherein we have a tool called bitbucket so where we need to connect that first so connect the bitbucket whenever we are connecting so wherein uh, it's a free plan of bitbucket which you can see wherein we are working on the, because this is a cloud application, you can see Jira is a cloud application. So the advantage under this cloud application of Jira is to connect different, different tools with Jira, because even Jira can be connected with Bitbucket, Jira will be, can be connected with GitHub, Jira can be connected with Jenkins, Confluence, right? So different, different uh, things can be used with. So this is what generally Bitbucket, which we have connected. So to go to Bitbucket, Right, so this is where generally the Bitbucket tool is all about. Right, so here we need to see the next. Next. Okay, got it. Right, so here this is what generally Bitbucket was, wherein if you want to create any kind of repositories here and all everything, we can create a repositories. At the same time, we can create workspaces, all that stuff, whatever the workspaces do be required and all everything. So there's workspaces and all everything can be created in this Bitbucket. So wherein you can see here, there is an option called create workspace, right? So here we can create a workspace for, uh, uh, right? So this is what the workspace I was given. I'm just creating, I think this is already there. Okay. Nine eight nine eight. Right. So this is what generally the workspace which I have created in Bitbucket. So whenever we have created a repo, uh, created a workspace for the Bitbucket and all, here are the repositories we can see different different repositories followed by the kind kind of projects what we have. Now, if you want to create any kind of project and all, here we can create a project where we need to provide the workspace name here, whatever the workspace name we have, all that stuff that can be given. At the same time here, we need to create a name of the project. So where uh, I'm just creating a name of the project called uh, online reservation. Okay, that's what generally I'm uh, just creating, right? So this will be used to reserve tickets. It's online by any user, right? So that's what generally, it's a private project I've just created. If you want to change this project as emblem and all, we can create. Otherwise, simply you can connect on create project. So whenever you are creating a project, you can see here, there is a project which was created here in reference to the Bitbucket. If you want to make any kind of project settings, all that, so those project settings can be done. So this is where you can see, right? So if you want to access any kind of keys and all everything, some SSL keys and all everything, those SSL keys can be accessed here as well. At the same time, if you want to create any kind of branch models in reference to the workflows, what we have, all these workflows at the same time, meta strategies, all these can be created here accordingly. So this is what generally the project details, which we have created now. So wherein if you want to create any kind of repository here, you have an option called create a repository. A repository name, project name was already given. Online reservation is what generally the project name have given. A repository of uh, storing of data, right? So data storage. 
right? So data storage is what generally the repository name I have created here, wherein it's an access level, which is private exclusive, they will be. And uh, this is including, especially for the beginner level I'm explaining. So hence I've just selected this. If you want to provide any kind of branch name and all everything, we need to branch name, right? So git ignore and create a repository here. Yeah, this is where generally the creation of data storage. This is what generally the repository we have created where you can see which is called data storage. So this is all about the Bitbucket part. So um, apart from that, whatever the kind of commits or the kind of branches and all everything, how to add these branches, how to add these commits and all everything that I'm going to explain in the coming video. Thank you.